We have one facility that has been approved by Lagos State to participate in the COVID-19 response. We do have information and requests from other facilities to get approved. The process is either through information, Hefama becomes aware of the fact that a hospital may be inadvertently exposed to COVID or may be seeking to manage COVID patients. We deploy our staff there so that the staff can inspect the facility according to established protocol for the facility in terms of designation of space and training for their staff. If they do meet that, that approval process, then the facility will be approved to participate in the COVID response. If they are not meeting the standards when we get there, they are issued a statement of deficiency and they are asked to comply and correct those deficiencies. If they do that and the staff goes back to inspect and is aware of the fact and can see conclusively that they have met the deficiencies, it is only at that time that they will get the approval to participate in the COVID response. So that is where we are in terms of uh, the facilities. I believe there was a question about the number of patients that are in the facilities presently. In that regard, because of public safety, those numbers are not static because as the Honorable Commissioner mentioned, sometimes the patients are admitted and sometimes the patients are discharged. So we will be very careful in communicating that type of information to you because we need to ensure that the public is aware that we are doing everything to maintain the safety of Lagosians. So the, what I can tell you right now is the number is in flux. We get patients and they do move out whether they are discharged or they move to an, isolate, uh, an isolation center in the state. Thank you very much.